Hello everyone. Uh, this is our lecture number one related to relate, uh, relational database management system. And in this session, we are going to talk about the introductory part of database management system. In this lecture, we are going to learn about what is database management system, define some terms related to database management systems, the needs of DBMS and features of DBMS. So here the question is what is DBMS? So full form of DBMS is database management system. So a database management system is a software system designed to handle, store, retrieve and work with data in database. Here two terms are very important. Okay, the first one is data and the other is information. So data means it is a collection of facts, information and statistics that can be in various form such as numbers, text, sound, images or any other format. It is a raw material from which information and knowledge are derived. And when it comes to information, we can say information is a knowledge obtained from investigation, study or instruction. It is the processed organized data that is, that is beneficial in providing useful knowledge. When data are processed, interpreted, organized, structured or presented so as to make them meaningful or useful, they are called information. Information provides contest for data. It can be facts or details about a subject. Another two important terms over here are database and database management system. So database means it is an organized collection of structured information or data typically stored electronically in computer system. It is usually controlled by database management system which serves as an interface between database and its end user or programs allowing user to retrieve, update and manage the data efficiently. Now the next term is database management system. A database management system is a software that interacts with end users, applications and database itself to capture and analyze data. It provides an interface for various operations like creating, reading, updating and deleting data. Popular DBMS examples are MySQL, Oracle and MongoDB. Needs of Database Management System Earlier, data was managed using file systems which were simple, low cost and allowed direct access to data. However, as data volume grew, file systems faced several limitations like data, redundancy, data redundancy means duplicate data across multiple files, data inconsistency means mismatched data when update were synchronized, difficult data retrieval means manual or complex retrieval processes, limited security, no advanced control over data access, no data relationship means hard to link related data like examples are customer and their orders. Concurrency issues, multiple users couldn't satisfy, sa safely access update data at the same time. So to overcome these issues, database management systems were introduced. A DBMS provide efficient, organized and secure way to store, retrieve and manage data. Features of database management system. A database management system offers a variety of powerful features that make database management efficient, secure and reliable. First one is real world entity. Real 
world entity means it will represents objects like employees students or product etc as table in a structured form second is data integrity it will maintain the accuracy consistency and reliability of data through validation rules and constraints here constraints means it is like primary key foreign key unique or not null are the constraints and here we can say the rules in the sense rules and triggers to maintain correct and consistent data now when it comes to data security ensures that only authorized user can access or modify data using authentication and access control so which includes user authentication means username or password access rights and privileges and also we can say encryption of sensitive data asset properties guarantees reliable transaction processing with atomicity consistency isolation durability now atomicity means all or nothing a transaction must be fully complete or fully failed if any part of transaction fails the entire operation is rolled back example if you are transferring money from amount account a to account b the deb debit happens but the credit fails the system will cancel the debit too now when it comes to consistency ensure the database goes from one valid state to another valid state all integrity all integrity constraints and rules must be satisfied after a transaction like if a transaction violates a primary key or a foreign key rule it won't be committed then the next one is isolation isolation means multiple transaction can occur at the same time but they are isolated from each other each transactions behave as if it is if it's the only one running example two users booking the last seat on a flight won't both succeed one will get it and the other won't now when it comes to durability once a transaction is committed the changes are permanent even if there is a system failure right and then data is saved to non volatile storage like disk for example if the power cut happens after a successful payment the payment record will still be saved then the next one is data consistency it ensures uniformity of data across the database after updating or transactions after updates or transactions so here we can say that after any operations like insertion updation or deletion the data remains correct and logically valid so achieved by like following as we already discussed when we were talking about asset property like it has to follow the constraints like primary key foreign key or unique key constraints like right now also it will avoid anomalies during updates okay like here if again if you are confused with data consistency content i'll give one more example if a student's name is name is if student's name is updated in one table it should also be correctly reflected in related tables right then only we can say that data consistency is maintained now when it comes to data redundancy control minimize duplicate data by organizing it efficiently and normalizing the database 
so here we can say the meaning of redundancy is unnecessary duplications of data so dbms reduces redundancy by storing data in a normalized form using multiple related table instead of repeating the same information so here what happens we can say it will helps in saving storage space preventing inconsistency making making data maintenance easier so here we we are taking one small example instead of storing the department name repeatedly for every students store it once in a department table and refer it using our department id data abstraction hides complex details from the user and present only the necessary data view so here we can say in data abstraction it will hide the complex data of how data is stored and maintained user interact with the simplified view of data without knowing the internal implications so here when it comes to levels of abstraction there are majorly three types of abstraction physical level logical level view level physical level means how data is actually stored logical means what data is stored and relationships between data what the users see in view level and the example is us a student see only their own record not the entire data it comes to data abstraction now when it comes to data data backup and recovery allows data to be back backed up and recovered in case of failure or data loss so it always ensures data is safe and can be restored after a failure or a crash so here backup means regular copies of data are taken and stored safely and recovery means mechanism to bring data backup data uh, back data from last backup in case of Lo data loss example if a server crashes during a, a bank transaction bank transaction recovery restores the data from the last consistent state okay now the next is query language query language means it provides language like sql to retrieve update and manage data easily so here a part it is actually a part of sql used to fetch data from the database right and return the data in tabular form based on the conditions now when it comes to re report generation enables the creation of customized reports based on data queries for analysis and decision making so here we can say it will convert raw data into structured and readable reports it is useful useful for decision making analysis and presentations and often it is used in charts summaries grouped data filters etc now when it comes to the example part a report shows the total sales per region in the last quarter i hope the content which we discussed here are very clear for everyone so here it's time to check your knowledge so question number 1 for that is what is dbms second define data and information question number 3 what are the main limitations of traditional file processing system four name any three features of dbms five define data redundancy and data inconsistency also how does dbms ensures data consistency six what does the acronym acid stands for seven what is meant by data independence eight what does what do you mean by data abstraction in dbms nine give an example of the support for multiple view in dbms 10 what is the purpose of query language in dbms